Step into your garden. Take a careful look around. The dull gray pebbles, the lumpy moss-covered rocks, the rusty heavy stones scattered among flower beds. You've walked past them thousands of times ordinary, right? Invisible. Background scenery. But here's the truth. Many of these seemingly mundane rocks are anything but ordinary. Hidden inside could be fossils, meteorites, crystals, and gemstones. Treasures that collectors, jewelers, and mineral enthusiasts hunt around the globe. Today, we'll reveal 10 common-looking rocks that hide extraordinary secrets. By the end, you'll never look at your garden the same way ag again one. Fossils hidden in strange patterned stones. Some stones look unusual. Spirals, leaf imprints, or intricate textures. But they might be fossils. Ammonites, corals, trilobites, and prehistoric plants could be preserved inside. What makes them so valuable? Fossils are irreplaceable snapshots of life millions of years ago, often rare and highly sought after by museums and collectors. Small fossils can sell for $50 to $200, while rare large specimens can fetch thousands. Each fossil is a piece of ancient history, a tangible connection to a world long gone. No two are exactly alike. The rarity and preservation quality make them unique. Check rocks with unusual textures or patterns. Fossils often appear in sedimentary rocks like shale, limestone, or sandstone. Tap lightly. Some fossils may flake out with gentle pressure. Have you ever seen a spiral or leaf-like imprint in a rock and wondered what it might be? Two meteorites masquerading as rusty metal chunks. Some heavy, dark, pitted rocks aren't just ordinary iron deposits. They could be meteorites. Their journey through space melts and reshapes them, giving them a unique crust, unusual density, and sometimes magnetic properties. Meteorites are literally extraterrestrial. Tiny fragments of planets or asteroids that traveled millions of years through space collectors prize them for their rarity and cosmic origin. One to one thousand dollars per gram, depending on size, composition, and rarity. A fist-sized iron meteorite can be worth thousands. Look for dense, heavy rocks with a dark, often rusty exterior. Many are magnetic and may have streaks of melted metal on the surface. Avoid rocks that are too shiny or uniform. Meteorites often have irregular shapes. 3. Malachite and Azurite inside green. Crumbly stones. Some green or bluish stones are copper-rich minerals. Malachite and Azurite. At first glance, they seem crumbly or unremarkable, but polished, they reveal stunning swirls of emerald green and deep blue. These stones are prized for jewelry and decorative objects. No two patterns are alike. Each swirl and banding is completely unique. Small polished pieces can sell for $20 to $100. Larger specimens, $200 to $1,000 plus museum quality samples can fetch much more. Look for crumbly green stained rocks, often in copper rich soil. Clean gently to reveal the underlying color. Polishing brings out the full depth of color. Could the green rock in your garden actually be a hidden piece of natural art? 4. Native silver. Disguised as heavy dark mineral. Lumps. Some dull metallic gray rocks are not ordinary mineral lumps. They are raw silver. Unlike jewelry, they appear tarnished, black, or gray. Silver is precious metal. Raw specimens are rare and highly sought after by mineral collectors, jewelers, and investors. Each lump can be refined or displayed as a unique natural specimen. Price range. Raw silver sells for 50 cents to $1.50 per gram for ordinary pieces. Museum quality or unusually large nuggets can reach thousands of dollars. Look for heavy, dense stones with metallic luster. Test for weight. Silver is unusually dense. Avoid rocks that feel too light or fragile. Have you ever picked up a rock and felt instantly that it was heavier than it looked? 5. Carnelian hidden in reddish river or garden pebbles. Smooth reddish stones can glow orange-red in sunlight. Carnelian has been prized since ancient times. Carnelian's deep color and translucence make it highly desirable for jewelry, carvings, and historical replicas. Price range. Small stones, $10 to $50. Larger or flawless specimens, $100 to $500 plus. 
How to look for them. Check reddish-brown pebbles in sunlit areas. Hold to sunlight. Translucence indicates carnelian. 6. Quartz. Crystal clusters buried under dirt and clay mud-covered rocks may hide clear, smoky, or milky quartz clusters inside. Why they're valuable? Collectors prize natural quartz points and clusters for display and metaphysical purposes. Large pristine formations can sell for hundreds or thousands. Small clusters $20 to $200. Large museum quality specimens $500 to $5,000 plus. Check dirt-covered lumps and gently wash to reveal crystals. Look for points or geometric shapes poking through the soil. 7. Amazonite and Moonstone Hidden in plain granite boulders. Granite often hides accessory minerals. Amazonite with green glow or moonstone with bluish sheen. These minerals are rare in the wild, prized for jewelry and display. Each specimen is unique in color, size, and shimmer. Small pieces $20 to $100. Large specimens $200 to $1,000 plus. Examine granite boulders for unusual color streaks or shimmer. Look for feldspar crystals that differ from the surrounding gray matrix. 8. Agate hidden inside ordinary pebbles. Gray or brown pebbles often hide fiery banded interiors. Red, yellow, orange, or deep blue patterns form over thousands of years, making each agate unique collectors prize agates for their intricate patterns. Polished slices are used in jewelry and decorative art. They are durable, beautiful, and naturally formed making each piece one of a kind, small polished slices, $10 to $100. Larger or rare colors, $200 to $1,000 plus. Look for smooth, rounded pebbles. Tap lightly. A hollow sound might indicate a geode-like cavity. Check for color streaks visible on the outside. What if the pebble by your walkway is worth more than your laptop? 9. Geodes disguised as ugly garden. Lumps, cauliflower-shaped lumps, often conceal hollow crystal caves, amethyst, quartz, calcite, and citrine sparkle inside. Geodes combine rarity with beauty. Each crystal formation is unique. Collectors prize well-formed cavities and vibrant crystal colors. Price range? Small geodes, $20 to $100. Large amethyst-filled geodes, $500 to $3,000 plus. Museum quality specimens can exceed $10,000. Look for lumpy, roundish rocks with rough surfaces. Heavier rocks often contain dense crystals inside. Tap lightly. Some geodes produce a hollow sound. 10. Garnet embedded inside sparkly mica. Schist mica schist often looks like glittery, unremarkable rock, but red garnet crystals can be hidden inside. Garnets are gemstones used in jewelry. Collectors and jewelers prize garnets embedded in mica schist for their natural setting and clarity price range. Small garnet crystals, $10 to $50. Larger gem quality garnets, $200 to $2,000 plus. How to look for them? Look for shiny, flaky rocks. Red crystals peeking from mica layers are a clear sign. Carefully pry them out without breaking the crystal. Your garden is no longer just scenery. Ordinary rocks may hide fossils, meteorites, malachite, silver, agate, geodes, garnet, carnelian, quartz, or amazonite. Every pebble, every lumpy stone, every mossy boulder might hold a secret worth hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Next time you walk through your garden, ask yourself, which rock have I been ignoring that might change everything? Look, touch, imagine. The greatest treasures are often hiding in plain sight waiting for eyes willing to see, hands willing to explore, and curiosity willing to dig a little deeper.